Hey guys, it's the 5th Gen Hyundai Elantra guy here. Today we're going to be doing my 100 subscriber special. I'm sorry it's late. I know I hit 100 subscribers a while ago and I wanted to do a video because, you know, that's pretty customary. And so we're just going to do a little back roads cruise here. Got my lavalier mic on, the window's open, so hopefully we don't pick up any wind noise because uh, got, nice, uh, got ourselves a nice day right over here. So it's going to be a, a, a good drive, I think. And it's just going to be a nice little uh, plane cruise we got going here. And um, and this is after I actually installed the Apexi and lightweight crank pulley already. So basically I had I had the uh, install done because I actually, I actually filmed this video originally. And it was actually during the rainy season and I actually didn't have any sort of, uh, actually we'll close the front window here because of the exo uh, exhaust and intake noise. Hopefully that's good. I think I might have to close both though. But uh, basically guys, I filmed this and I had some front footage of me kind of doing a little toge driving here on the, um, the, the front of my, my Crow Canyon Road out here. And um, actually I'm just gonna put on my sunglasses instead. And actually, uh, it was a good video, but my kind of cheap GoPro, which isn't really a GoPro, but kind of like a knockoff. But you know, it didn't it didn't really do too good of a job, to say the least. So um, what ended up happening was I didn't use the footage. So now we got a nice sunny day, so it'll look better with my camera lens and grading and whatnot. But um, yeah, there we go. You guys haven't seen me with sunglasses. Oh, on that one video you have, but. Yeah, I just want to give you guys a big, uh, and it's been really great having that unit and being able to tune it and uh, you know, tune my air to fuels based off my demands for the vehicle. And uh, yeah, uh, overall though, um, I'm really thankful for all you guys uh, liking the content and you know what we got here on the channel and what we got going. And I hope I can actually upload some toge videos soon now that my car is finally sorted out. Um, but basically, yeah guys, uh, I also wanted to give an update for the supercharger because that has been a video that's been up for a while, one of my second or actually not second, but one of my first videos um, and I want to update about that. So basically guys, I'm kind of in the middle right now what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to do an SC14 supercharger because I looked those up and they seem pretty cool because even though they are bigger, so the trick would be getting it fitting in our engine bay because it's much bigger than the AMR 500 but it gives us the cc's of air and that we need per revolution because I mean the AMR 500 you just have to underdrive it and it's really pushing the the rpm on the even the coating you know kind of peels off when you do that so um, Suzuki Samurai has that uh, uploaded so I'll link that uh, in the description so you guys can see it and he has a video about that exact thing the you know the laminarized uh, or that sort of interesting coating they put on like Teflon or whatever. Um, but yeah, and I might be saving up for that Shark Racing turbocharging kit. Basically I'm saving up regardless, but right now it's just sort of deciding like, uh, deciding which one I actually, uh, you know, want to use, right guys? Um, so it just really is coming down to that. I just want to give a quick update about that because a lot of people have been asking in the comments on all my videos, what is this, what is it? You know, where's the AMR, what's the supercharger? Did it work, you know? Um, you guys can hear, of course, my engine running, I don't have it in, otherwise you would hear that supercharger whine, which there is none of that. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I also, uh, again, hope you guys are all, uh, you know, praying to God because, you know, you guys got to pray to God during these times. Well, all the time you got to pray to him because, you know, you know, through his son, Jesus Christ, we're able to approach him in prayer. And that's one of the greatest gifts that we have because um, without that, you know, you're going to, you know, we'd be in, well, we are imperfect ever since Adam and Eve. And so uh, without that, we would not be able to, you know, because we, we don't give sin offerings and all this other stuff that the Israelites did. So... Uh, what a blessing his uh, only begotten son, Jesus Christ, or in Hebrew, Yeshua Messiah, um, our King and Savior, uh, has done for us. So make sure you guys utilize that um, for your spiritual health and, and the needs that you need to express to God during these times for your family. Yeah, but of course we know that we are in those uh, critical times, guys, because there's just so much going on around us. 
and um, and really it's just uh, it's just a lot going on and uh, you guys can see that it, things aren't getting better they're just progressively progressively getting worse um, not only with people but just everything in general and of course you know Revelation talks about everything that we're going to see in those last days so um, make sure every uh, you guys you know are you know getting close to God if you haven't been in a while or have are not you know make sure you do it because you know I know some people may a lot may not like that preaching but that preaching is also what Jesus Christ commissioned his people to do so it's you know if I was not doing that it wouldn't be good on my part because I'd be it'd be like you know you go into work and you have a job to do and uh, you know just because you know a few people you know a few people don't want to hear it you know you don't do your job right you know it's not like you don't, don't do your job your job is your job you know like the road workers aren't gonna like not work on the road if that's their job just because a few people don't want traffic because of the road construction right it's just a job is a job and needs to be done and just like that road that newly paved road so right that preaching is paving the road to the new kingdom, right? You guys know the Lord's Prayer, right? Of course you do, and um, if you don't, you know, here's one part of it. It says, uh, uh, let thy kingdom come as it is in heaven, thus let it be on earth, right? And King James, I'm pretty sure that's the exact wording, but um, of course that's, that's, that's basically it, you guys. You need to uh, know that the kingdom is in heaven. But yeah, guys, um, just went through the road. I'm going to have some toge videos pretty soon. And uh, it's, that's going to be fun because those are always great. And so we're just going to have some nice toge driving through my back roads here. Turbo diesel. Anyway. Um, yeah, guys, so uh, I really hope uh, you guys have been enjoying the content. I really want to thank you all again for the 100 subscribers and hopes to grow, not only to show off you know what to do and how to tune and work with this car and show the love for it but also the the scriptural knowledge that i am trying to uh, you know impart on my viewers because that really takes precedence over anything that i'm doing on this channel in regards to a car because a car is just a car guys so um as always guys uh i'm gonna sign off make this like a short one because you know my videos are usually pretty long so thanks for the big 100 guys hope to do a 1000 as always uh we God bless you guys all, and always enjoy the drive.